Hello everybody, welcome to my garage. I'll give you 10 seconds to figure out what I'm going to use this for. My favourite store opened again today, so I picked up some stuff. Batteries for my welding helmet. I've been using the non-adjustable one. So this has got the, the whatever that adjusts and it adjusts the sensitivity. But it hasn't been working because my batteries went dead. New batteries. Picked up some new welding gloves because you can never have too many welding gloves. Six dollars, can't complain. Picked up some brass bushings. I need to add some bushings to my steering rack. It's not quite tight enough. And I've, I've got a set of that size in at the moment. They're too small. Because these are supposed to be for my four link bars to go inside the poly bushings at the moment. It's just a bolt through the poly bushing, which isn't ideal. So these brass bushings will go inside. Another roll of welding wire. Because I'm getting a bit low and I'll be doing a lot of welding in the next few weeks. So this, did you figure it out? So this is actually for a boat trailer, sort of a bump roller thingy, but it's, I would say it's ideal for my body mounts. I want to make about six rubber body mounts and this is plenty, you know, I can decide if I'm going to have it, probably have about an inch thick. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six with a few inches to spare if I decide to add another couple so that's ideal and that was only eight dollars or 8.99 compared to like 30 dollars each for an actual body mount and it's 5 8 hole in the middle so I can put a nice bolt through the middle so that's what we're doing this weekend still waiting on this thunderstorm appearing oh we're getting some specks of rain so I'm not going to be doing it at the moment I can certainly plan it all out. Well, that was yesterday, but today the sun has come out. So let me quickly strip down the car again and uh, we'll get started, okay? Yeah. Right, let me try and show you what I'm up against here. Ah, it's never easy. Okay, this is the main body mount that I'm looking at, okay? This, uh, this hole here, which actually lines up with the body mount bracket underneath quite nicely. However, if you look underneath here, so that would be where the body mount would sit, but as you can see, maybe, well done, there's a massive space here, okay, that is two and a half inches of space, I'm not having a body mount bushing that thick. Now if I show you underneath, I'll show you what the a previous owner has done. So this, uh, where's my finger? This is a, a three inch by one inch beam that runs all the way to the front, attached to the floor. Now, if I was to attach a, a two and a half inch uh, rubber bushing here, it's going to interfere with this. Now, if only they had installed this over there, everything would be fine, but it's not. So I'm thinking I'll probably extend this beam over to there and that will give me that much space. I'm going to raise it by maybe an inch altogether. So this just needs to come up half an inch to put the bushing in there once I build, once I extend this beam out a bit. So that's fun. 
I don't really want to have to take all these mounts off. If I can use what's on the car, that makes more sense. So this is the main thing. I'll take the body off, the frame, and then weld on another section of one inch by three inch in this section, drill a hole through it, and then I can make my bushing to fit. Let's have a look at the other ones while we're here. There's quite a lot of mounting points. So, we have this one here. I probably won't use that one, it's quite close to that one there. And then we have... Oh goodness. Uh, that one there, and there's another one up there. So I have a choice, but I think I'll work in the back ones first. So let's get the body off again. I should be good at this by now. Revised plan. I'm not taking the body off. Because if I take the body off, I don't know where anything goes. So, here we are under the car again. I've made this little extension. It's actually one and a half inches, really awkward size. So that's one and a half by three. But this is just one and a half by one and a half. So that'll get welded to the original one and a half beam. And all I really need to do now is make a one inch spacer uh, bushing for in there. And I'll maybe make a, a plate that goes over this and a plate that extends out here because the, the, the bushing is going to be wider than that. Okay, next stage. So this is my bushings ingredients. Section of rubber 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 tubing stuff from a boat. I'm gonna cut an inch of that. Actually I'm gonna cut two inches. Well, an inch and then another inch. One on the top, one on the bottom. I will sleeve it on the inside with this stainless steel duplex stuff. That'll go in there. That'll be cut to three quarters of an inch so that it's sitting inside the hole so that it allows a bit of compression. Washer will sit in the top, one will sit in the bottom and my good old foundation pipe. I'm going to cut about half an inch of this and this will get, this little section here will get welded onto the frame bracket. This basically means that when this sits inside here and you squash it down, it doesn't squeeze out like a jammy sandwich. So let me chop all them up and see how it looks. Right, that's all my parts cut and cleaned up. 
so I'll show you how that goes together. So this section here will actually get welded onto the frame mount, okay, the frame bracket. That will be in place, there will be a hole through the middle on the frame, okay. This will be my main bushing. This little sleeve goes inside with a bit of persuasion. Remember this sleeve is quarter an inch, quarter inch shorter than the bushing. So it'll allow for some compression. Okay, so that sits inside there. Uh, so this is obviously the underside of the body. Okay, so there's a hole in the body floor. This bolt goes through this big washer. And goes through there. So that's everything at the top. Oops, sorry. Looks kind of pretty. And then the underside. So this section here will be where the the body mount bracket is. This will go on the underside, sandwiching that. Obviously it's got another sleeve to go in. Another big washer. And a nut in the bottom. That makes sense. Let's go and throw it in the car, see how it looks. I've still not welded that other section onto the car yet, but let's make sure this fits first. So as usual, I don't have the right size bolts, but uh, I, I can give it a shot and then I'll know what size of bolts to go and buy. So, I'll jack up the body. That should be enough. Put the bolt in through there. Put in the bolt there. Goes through there. Ah, right, I'm gonna to have to chop. I'm gonna to have to chop that a little bit round there. But regardless, if I lower the body down, then that should sit where it's supposed to sit. Right, let's see. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. So I've got clearance in this section here, which I didn't have before. As I say, that will get squashed up there. Eh, might not have to cut it at all. Fine, so I just need to weld this section onto this section and maybe around the back onto the body, the underside. And then repeat the process either three or five times. So I'll go and grab some bolts from Home Depot. Well, it's open, but I do have to wait a while to get in for a couple of bolts. Oh well, at least it's a lovely day to stand in a line. Okay folks, I got my 5 inch bolts and nuts. Perfect, I put one in already and it's, it's fine. The other side, however, it's actually a two and a half, uh, one and a half inch by three inch bar that's underneath the car. But on the other side, it's short by two and a half inches. So I need to make this weld it up the middle and the back, just to extend that and then obviously weld it all around there. Still going to put a plate, a sort of roundish plate on this and the other one before I'm finished. Right, I'll get this welded up and then mark where the holes to go for the bolt. That's that welded, hole drilled, and I while that was the weld was cooling, I made me other push mechanism, uh, body mount, yeah, body mount. Let's go with that. Right, let's slap this on the car and see how it lines up. Okay, so that's my extension piece that will sit up there. So I've jacked it up at the moment. I can put my mount and see how it all lines up.
that goes up there, that goes through there. So when I lower this down, this has got to line up with that bar at the bottom. It's a bit tight. Let's move that a bit. That's better. Okay, and then I put this bit on, and the washer, and the nut all at once. So I still have to extend this plate out, I'll make a nice rounded extension onto this, because I know that this rubber is going to bend round, squish round that edge until I have a flat plate for it to go on. See what I mean? So, that's all lovely. Now I can tack this in place, both on the floor and on that beam that it's flush against and then take it all off and weld it on properly and while I'm doing that I'll weld a little extension onto this I like it though just need to do the same at the front alright folks I'm going to wrap that up for today because I'm starving and I need to go and make some food if you want to see how this all finishes make sure you subscribe and uh, I will hopefully have it done by the end of the weekend. So, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.